listen to a chart on Chippewa Valley School's own website, every single teacher in the district is making well over $100,000 per year. So is every counselor, principal, media specialist, director, coordinator, and supervisor. It seems the only ones not making over $100,000 are the lunch ladies. At the November meeting, I outed Superintendent Robert's salary for of almost $400,000, which is nearly as much as the U.S. president. With these types of salaries, parents should expect extremely high proficiency scores and academic excellence, but that's not the case. More money does not equal better education. Proficiency scores are as low as 20% in this district. Chippewa Valley High School is ranked 384th out of 735 Michigan high schools. In 2018, your average standard score was 59.42, but went down to 21.68 last year. Your Michigan State percentile is only 18%, meaning 82% of Michigan students scored better on standardized tests than those at Chippewa Valley. You have a one-star rating on the largest school evaluation website, and you're failing your special needs students too. Their score is only 12, and their Michigan State percentile is now only 3.4%, which is zero stars on the rating website. Some of you have been on this board for years and things have gotten worse in this district. One thing has remained unchanged since 2011, and that's Mr. Roberts being superintendent. Every parent in this district should be asking this board, why is Mr. Roberts still the superintendent here? Another question is, why is Mr. Roberts running these board meetings? Why is he blocking and controlling information to a board member? He's not a member of this board. Things have gotten really con convoluted here and boundaries have been crossed. The school board is the governing body of the school district and Mr. Roberts is only an advisor to this board. Mr. Pearl, as board president, it's actually your job to preside over and conduct these meetings, not the superintendent's. Mr. Roberts should not even be speaking unless giving a report on district issues or if a question is posed to him. And he definitely does not have the authority to control information or access or ban specific board members from anything. So, Mr. Pearl, why are you allowing the superintendent to usurp your authority at these meetings? Maybe you shouldn't be the board president. It's no wonder this district is failing. You can't even conduct a school board meeting correctly. It's a new year now and time for a new direction for this board. Put student academic success at your priority and start following proper procedures and rules for these meetings. Thank you.